Today we're going to break and run a wreck of a 9 ball together and of course I'm going to talk you through what exactly I'm doing, where I'm hitting the cue ball and of course you will see everything with the GoPro view. Let's watch the break first and then we're going into the live commentary with all the explanations. Alright, we didn't make the wing ball, but we actually made um, the one ball into the side pocket, which is also very common. Well, the first problem is when we're going to make that two ball into the corner pocket, we're definitely going to bump into the eight ball. So let's see which part of the eight ball we're catching by using the tangent line principle. And I think I'm going to catch the left part of the eight ball a bit, or pretty much full. So what I'm trying to do now is going to hit low and a touch of left spin and hopefully I come around for the free ball into the same pocket. This is not easy. First of all, I can't reach it so I have to play it right handed. So this is already the first difficulty. Second difficulty is to calculate the exact contact on the eight ball. But let's give it a try. Alright, I hit that a bit too thick. I think, uh, to be honest, I had this in mind, but we really got lucky. We have a very nice shot on this free ball into the side pocket. So this actually turned out perfectly. And of course, not everything goes as planned when you're playing pool, especially on shots like this. Okay, here I think all I have to do is just play a stop shot, leave a nice angle on the four ball. You have to keep in mind that the five ball probably isn't going to pass nicely into the corner pocket. So we will see if we're trying to use a plan B. But if I'm leaving myself yeah, right about here, I have all the options to do basically everything with the cue ball afterwards. So just going to play a stop shot as softly as possible. And now we have a nice angle and basically you can do, as I mentioned, everything with the cue ball that we want to do. Well, now we need to consider, do we really want to play that five ball into this pocket? Because you know, eight ball takes a bit away of the pocket. And the problem is we also need a right angle. If we end up close to straight on the five ball in this pocket, then we have a really difficult time getting on the six ball. The other option we have is actually go around two rails behind the five ball. The problem here is that if we end up somewhere on this side, the cue ball goes away and we have a really difficult shot on the six ball again or really difficult time getting position on the six ball. So I think I'm actually going for the five ball into here, even though the eight ball blocks the path because I just don't want to mess up, get too short and then have a difficult time getting on that um, six ball afterwards. So in the best case, I leave myself a bit of an angle to go nicely towards the six ball. So this is just a high ball. Follow through nicely, the right speed. And this is perfect because now the cue ball goes nicely without touching a rail towards the six ball. So here I'm definitely going to concentrate on making the five ball and very important, I don't want to end up frozen to the rail on the six ball. Have a bit too much angle to be honest. So I could either try to Stun it a bit into, in, uh, into here without hitting any rail. But I think the problem with that is I have to hit a bit harder and I'm losing control. So instead I'm going to use some left spin, going to hit that rail, that rail, and then end up here with an angle on the six ball. You can see we're a bit close to the rail. I didn't want too hard. Of course, a bit more angle would have been nice, but with a bit more speed, I risk getting behind the nine ball. So I take this angle on the six ball. Here, I think all I have to do is just play a high shot, a high ball, go into the rail, come towards here. In the best case, we're ending up straight on the seven ball. I think I'm going to use a tiny, tiny bit of right spin just to support the cue ball that it doesn't come like this and that we're left with this shot, but a bit more here. So you can see, not a whole lot of right spin.
You can see that way the cue ball hit this rail a bit earlier and we have a nice shot on the seven ball. Here, of course, what I could do is draw all the way back down to what's here on the eight ball or just play a high ball, follow into the rail, come back. But I think this is not necessary. All you want to do here is just play a stop shot. Keep it simple. We already have position from here with actually a nice angle. So there's no need to manipulate the cue ball in any way. So just a very smooth stop shot on the seven ball. And that way we have a nice angle on the eight ball. Now let's see what we want to do here. Well, we have two options. We could maybe try to actually get around the nine ball and come towards here. That way we're traveling along the shooting line of the nine ball. What we could also do is just play a high ball with a um, tiny, tiny bit of right spin maybe, but not even necessary. And I think I'm doing that because this is just more natural for the low left shot. We have to hit a bit harder to keep that backwards rotation on the cue ball. So this is already too much. Just going to make the ball, center ball or follow shot and hit with the right speed here. You can see we had the danger, the cue ball was crossing that line actually, but that way we just could concentrate on just our speed control and this ended up perfectly. So let's make the nine ball here. How often has this happened to you? We're perfectly straight on a nine ball, but we have to get position for the 10 ball. Well, don't worry, there's a really clever shot we're going to play. First of all, we're going to apply maximum right spin because we want the cue ball to go to the right after we make the nine ball. And we also have to elevate our cue quite a lot. But keep in mind, with elevating, the cue ball will make a curve to the right. That's why we actually have to aim to the left part of the nine ball because the cue ball will curve and then should go down table. So have a look at how I'm executing the shot. You see, elevated with right spin, aiming to the left. And you see how nicely the cue ball goes down perfectly to the 10 ball. Well, a bit more to the left, to the right would have been nice, but this should be makeable if I can reach it. And there you have it, a really clever shot. And that's how you break and run a um, nine ball. You see, not everything goes as planned. Try to keep it simple. Try to not get position if you already have position. And if you want to see more lessons, then check out one of those two videos that you're seeing right now. And if you like this video, then very important, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's it for today. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care. Take care. Okay.